Hello to all my Aquarius rising and Aquarius sun or moon friends. Welcome to my channel. And for all of you new subscribers, welcome to today's taroscope is going to be all about money and career for Aquarius for the month of March 2021. You should watch the taroscope for your rising sign, your sun and your moon sign to get the most out of your reading. Now, if you like these readings, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, Aquarius, let's get going. Okay, Aquarius, this is your reading for money and career for the month of March, 2021. So week one, week two, week three, week four, week one. We start out with the Two of Swords reverse, which means that you're having a really, really difficult time making a decision or you're not happy with a decision that you recently made. So March starts out with you questioning yourself about what you could have done differently in your money and career. Then we come to the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed. So the Queen of Cups is going to be a person that is connected to your money and career who has your best interests at heart. She could even be you, but it's somebody who deals with things intuitively. Um, she feels for people. She nurtures people. She watches people. She understands because she's a water sign. She understands human nature innately. So she doesn't necessarily have to talk to people to figure out what their motivations are. She gets it on an intuitive level. And if this is you, then that's great. And then that which case, why are you questioning yourself so much about decisions that you might have made last month? The Three of Swords reverse. So we've got the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. So you're really thinking, thinking, thinking about things and questioning things. Now, the Three of Swords, when it's upright, usually means that there's some sort of a grieving process going on about a loss or a painful breakup or um, genuine grief if somebody actually has crossed over. So... In this case, where it's reversed, it could be long ago. You could have gone through a grieving process long ago, and perhaps the um, decision that you made or the recent things that you're questioning are reminding you of this grieving process and causing you to sort of put yourself back to the, to the point in time where you experienced this grief before and feeling like you don't know what you do know now. So... See if that's the situation. If you made this decision based on in, uh, knowledge and information that you have now, currently, then forget about this and realize that there is a trauma there that you still have to go back and work on. We all have trauma in our lives, and especially after this year of COVID stuff, people have been exposed to more and more and more trauma. I mean, look at what happened January 6th. People are traumatized. People have had to face death and dying over and over and over again. And then we had a literal insurrection. I mean, PTSD is rampant among children, 20-somethings, middle-aged people, elderly people. Everybody's having this and everybody needs help with it. So don't be afraid to try to reach out and get some help for this. Even if you're a very intuitive person who really understands people, you can still be suffering from trauma. And if that's the case, then get yourself some help. Uh, the second week of March is the Six of Wands reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Cups reverse. So the Six of Wands re wand reverse means that you were in a situation where you wanted to be victorious, but you really weren't. So if this is a work or a, situ or a career situation, it could be that you felt like you underperformed. Again, you're questioning, uh, am I really good enough? Did I do this the best that I could? Whatever. And so you're really, really questioning yourself a great deal. And then we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups usually brings about some sort of surprising information. So the Queen of Cups usually will hear from the Page of Cups on a regular basis because she's he's one of her court people. Um, and so don't be surprised if this Page of Cups is reporting back to the Queen of Cups in your job, in your career, in the organization that you are in. Um, and that may make you feel mistrustful. You may be very, very mistrustful of what's going on with the higher ups. And if that's the case, then perhaps you need to go talk to them. If not to the Queen of Cups, go talk to the Page of Cups and see if you can either decipher what it is that he or she is bringing about because it's probably a secret to most people. Um, then we have the Four of Cups reversed 
And usually this is a person who, who is exhibiting ennui. They're bored. They just don't, they don't care about what's being offered. They just, it's not good enough or they don't want it or they're disinterested or possibly depressed. So when it's reversed, it does usually indicate somebody who is who has developed a bit of depression and they're not able to really see clearly what is, what the opportunities are that are being presented to them or they're not motivated because of the depression to take advantage of any of those situations. So I would again say, if you think that you are reacting oddly to your current situation, if you are reacting in a way that is really more appropriate for a past situation, then you probably are suffering from PTSD. And very often people with PTSD also are, are depressed. So again, I would say really try and go to get some help with that. And Aquarius, I know you're a fixed sign. You're all about, you know, I don't need that. That's not for me. I'm stronger than that. You know, nobody can tell me something I don't already know about myself. But in this day and age, it's stupid not to get all the help that you can. And if it's available, you should, you should take advantage of it. The third week of March, it's the Seven of Swords reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, and the World Upright. So, now things are getting interesting. Now we're getting into the major arcana and the real purpose of the month of March. Okay. You are not the thief. You are not the person stealing from the company, but you may know who is. There may be someone who is really kind of messing things up. After all, you didn't get credit for the good stuff that you did in the second week of March, or maybe that you did previously, and you should have gotten credit for at least by then. Um, and you are questioning yourself about these other things. So maybe there is, um, you know, a fox in the hen house and maybe you are aware of who that person is. The two of wands reverse also indicates that you're having trouble with making decisions about certain things, just like with the two of swords. And you probably need to search your soul and figure out what it is that's, that's causing you to be so doubtful about the decisions that you're making. Here we have the world and here and the next beginning of the next week, we have the star. So I'm thinking that for you, this situation with your money and your career is getting very uncomfortable and you are most likely thinking about going on to a different career or a different job, at least in that same career. Um, the world is usually um, an ending. It usually means the culmination of a cycle and the star usually is you know, being recognized for your talents, being um, shown the way, being the chosen one, being the talented one, and it's a yes card. So if you're thinking about ending one thing and starting a new thing, the answer is yes, that's the right thing to do. So you should very definitely start looking and start putting feelers out there to see if you can find a better situation where you won't have to put up with, you know, kind of this mishigash that's going on here over, over on the... Uh, the normal career front right now. The next card is the devil reversed. And when it's reversed, we're also dealing with somebody who possibly is um, involved in mental illness, definitely somebody who is um, manipulative, but not as potent as if the devil is upright. So here we have a person who maybe he, this is a person who's nearing retirement and that's why they're not as potent, but definitely not somebody with a really nice personality. Not with, not somebody with a per, some, it's definitely not somebody you trust, um, but it could be somebody that has some sort of power over people in your workplace or in your career. So you, you, you can't hang around and just wait for this person to retire. You should just do the adult thing and, and move on yourself. That's probably the healthiest thing mentally for you to do. And the final outcome is the Ten of Swords reversed. And Ten of Swords reversed is actually good instead of Ten of Swords in the upright position because Ten of Swords in the upright position literally means betrayal. Um, you know, somebody stabbed you in the back a million times. So having it reversed means that you're avoiding that situation and that's a much better situation to be in. So... What I would do is I would look at your whole situation with your career and, none, and not very much money stuff is coming up here. And not, no money stuff is coming up here. It's all about your career. I would look at your situation and see if it's worth the emotional gamble. You know, is it worth not getting the, not, whoops, not getting the uh, rewards that you deserve, not getting the accolades, not getting the recognition? Is it worth being traumatized when you're really trying to do just the best thing that you can do? 
is it worth it? It probably is not. So I think that, you know, maybe finding something different is a better, better solution for you. Um, so let's pull out a Oracle card. Great. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Oh, Aquarius, that's wonderful. You should expect miracles right now. You've got all these planets in February in your sign, and a lot of them are still going to be in your sign in March. So you're, you're really, oh, you've got such good support for this. Just believe in yourself. Just believe that, that you're you're going to put yourself in the right place at the right time and that this miracle is going to occur for you. That's wonderful. That's a beautiful card to end on. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that reading hit home for you. I hope it gave you some instruction and some information for the month of March that you could use. Um, please leave me a comment below and tell me what you thought of the reading. Tell me how it worked for you, even if it's all the way in April and you've passed all this stuff. And just let me know, did it, did it really hit home? Um, make sure that you've hit a thumbs up. Make sure that you've subscribed so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And thank you so much for watching, Aquarius. Until next time.